All right, I just kind of wanted to make this video just to say rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. I'm going to try and make this short, but um, and I'm going to try not to cry because I've cried too much today because I was a big Kobe fan. If you guys didn't know, I'm also a Lakers fan, obviously. But um, yeah, when I first heard the news, I was I was just devastated because like I didn't know at first what to believe because like so you guys know Sumo, he sent it in our group chat and he was like, Oh, like, please let this be, like, capped and because I don't want it to be real. Because it was TMZ, and TMZ's weird, so you don't know if it's true or not. And then, like, I had to look it up on Google, and no no other sites really had reported it. But then, like, a couple more sites reported it, and then that's when I started to believe it. But it's just, it's just so hard to accept because it's, like, literally just three years ago, all of us were watching him in, like, the final game and he's dropped like 60 points and it's just crazy that he's like dead now. Like I didn't even think he would die until like, maybe like his like 50s or 60s, like 20 years from now, but like he was only 41 years old and I wasn't even off of like health problems or like, that was a voice crack, but it wasn't even off of health health problems or like, um, like old age. It was just a straight up helicopter crash. Like, like I first, like a couple of like minutes ago I saw the video of like the car I mean not the car the helicopter crash and it was just devastating like it was like spinning out of control and once it finally fell it just like blew up and it's just hard because like his daughter also died in I think her name is Gianna I'm pretty sure and she was only 13 years old and she died with him and just like his wife and his other daughters just like gonna have to like live the rest of their lives without like a father like it's just hard like he was an exceptional basketball player he just I idolized him a lot like whenever we talk about like GOAT conversations I always put Kobe in there I believe he is the greatest player of all time but even like the little details like by King's Flash 24 the 24 at the end was literally meant for Kobe Bryant because like he just I idolized him a lot. Like, he was just a great player. Like, I never really experienced, like, the championship. Like, because I became a Lakers fan, like, 2010 because of, like, the 2K10 cover. And it was, like, I just started to root for them. And I was too young to really, like, they won the championship that same year. Like, my dad was already a Lakers fan, so it kind of played out well. And just, like, just to see, like, all the NBA players, like, cry, like, because they were, like, they were think they were saying they were going to, like, cancel the games, but, like, they didn't. But, like, during, like, the little tributes and stuff, like, everyone was just crying, and it was just hard to look at because, like, that's how much of an impact he had on the game of basketball. And even, like, Shaq was, like, I'm, like, her and Michael Jordan was, like, oh, he was, like, a little brother to me. Like, this is just sad, like. I have a whole bunch of like Kobe stuff here. Uh, I have the 2K17 cover, which was, and I have the the white jersey, and then the yellow throwback Lakers jersey. The and I'm like I got this jersey when I was like younger. As you can see, it's like really small. And I don't know how I'm gonna show this, but I have this uh, poster. You can't even see his face. Like there you go. I have this poster of him and Jordan in the All-Star game. And it's just hard because, like, I broke down and cried for, like, 20 minutes when I first heard it. Because I didn't know if it was true. Like, I was trying to hold my tears back. I was like, I don't know if it's true or not. And a whole bunch of other sources just, just did it. And then that's when I, like, just took it in. And I, I still can't believe it. Like, it just doesn't feel real. Like... He was going to be, like, inducted to, like, the Hall of Fame this year, and he can't even, like, say his speech or anything like that. It's it's just crazy. Like, I'm not surprised I didn't cry in this video. I guess I've done enough crying, but just put a, a big impact on my life. It just kind of inspired me to play basketball. And rest in peace, Kobe and Gianna. It's very tragic. Like, once I heard that his daughter died with him, it just kind of, like, she was, like, so young. Like, she was only 13. Like, she could have made WNBA and all that. Like, but just to have her life cut short because of a helicopter crash, 
it's insane. It's just not, it doesn't feel real. So, thank you guys for watching. I didn't make this video for like clout or anything to get any views. Just wanted to pay my respects. Like, I didn't know Kobe personally, of course, because I'm just a fan. But like, it when people are like, oh, like you didn't know him personally. So like, why are you so like mad? Like if people make memes and stuff, but like it's because he inspired and made an impact on a lot of people. Like the whole world is just broken down over this. That's how you know, like, if, just because you didn't know him personally doesn't mean that you can't mourn and cry over it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. RIP Kobe and Gianna. Um, just rest well in heaven. And I'll start making more videos because uh, I've been kind of slacking on that. So, see you guys later. Peace.